Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive Power Automate tutorial series. In this video, we're going to walk through how to do another simple and useful image conversion flow. We're going to convert an image into TIFF format using the Cloudmersive Image Connector in Power Automate. TIFF files are lossless files that don't lose quality after you save and edit them, no matter how many times you do it, which makes them perfect for use in editing programs like Photoshop. Let's begin. Click Create on the Power Automate homepage, and then select Instant Cloud Flow, which will set up a flow that allows full control over your data. Give your flow a name, then select Manually Trigger a Flow, and click Create at the bottom when you're ready to move on. On the Flow page, click New Step and start typing Get File Content. Select the option that represents the application your file is stored in. That's SharePoint for me, so I'm selecting that option and providing my site address to establish the connection in Power Automate. To get your image file, click on the file icon and navigate the folder path until you find it. Select it when you're ready, and then you can move on to the next step. Click New Step again and start typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. In this step, we're going to include the Cloudmersive connector for this operation. Select the Cloudmersive image connector with the yellow logo from the list of options below. If this is your first time using this, you'll need to include your Cloudmersive API key at this stage to authenticate the use of the connector. You can get a key easily by visiting our website, cloudmersive.com, and registering a free account. Once entered, that information will save and you won't have to enter it again. When you're ready, in the Actions list, search TIFF and select the first option. Now you can satisfy two quick parameters for this operation. Click on the first parameter and simply select the File Content option from the Dynamic Content window to pull the image content from the previous step. Then, copy the file name from the previous step and paste it into the second parameter. Once that's done, you're ready to move on and complete the final operation in the flow. Click New Step and now type Create File into the search bar. For this action, select the application that you want the converted file to save in. For me, that's just going to be SharePoint again, so I'm going to redefine my site address and get ready to fill in the remaining details. This action needs to know what the new folder path, name, and content of the converted file will be. First, click on the file icon and navigate the folder path until you find the right one. Once you find it, select it, and then click on File Name. Give your file whatever name you want, and be sure to include the TIFF suffix. Finally, Click on the file content bar and select body from the dynamic content window to include the converted image content. Now the flow is complete, so you can save and begin testing. Click save, then find the test button in the upper right corner. Select it, and then ensure the option to manually trigger is selected before continuing and verifying your connections. Once you finally run the flow, Green check marks will appear in the upper right corner of each operation to indicate that they ran smoothly. If any errors occurred, they'll be logged on the right side of the page immediately and the section where the error occurred will be highlighted. To ensure the flow worked, head to the destination folder and check for your new file. My TIFF file is right here where it should be, ready to open up and edit within any compatible image editing application. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tutorials in the near future.